This is Dancing on the Grave of a Son of a Bitch by Diane Wachowski. I'm going to read a portion of the foreword to this poem. The story behind the poem is this. A man and woman who have been living together for some time separate. Part of the pain of separation involves possessions which they had shared. They both angrily believe they should have what they want. She asks for some possession and he denies her the right to it. She replies that she gave him money for a possession which he has and therefore should have what she wants now. He replies that she has forgotten that for the number of years they lived together, he never charged her rent, and if he had, she would now owe him $7,000. She is appalled that he equates their history with a sum of money. She is even more furious to realize that this sum of money represents the entire rent on the apartment and implies that he should not have paid anything at all. She is furious. She kills him mentally. Once and for all, she decides she is well rid of this man and that she shouldn't feel sad at their parting. She decides to prove to herself that she's glad he's gone from her life. With joy, she will dance on all the bad memories of their life together. For my motorcycle betrayer, God damn it, at last I'm going to dance on your grave, old man. You've stepped on my shadow once too often. You've been unfaithful to me with other women, women so cheap and insipid it psychs me out to think I might ever be put in the same category with them. You've left me alone so often that I might as well have been a homesteader in Alaska these past years. And you've left me, thrown me out of your life often enough that I might as well be a newspaper differently discarded each day. Now you're gone for good, and I don't know why, but your leaving actually made me as miserable as an earthworm with no earth. But now I've crawled out of the ground where you stomped me, and I gradually stand taller and taller each day. I have learned to sing new songs, and as I sing, I'm going to dance on your grave because you are dead, dead, dead. Under the earth with the rest of the shit, I'm going to plant deadly nightshade on your grassy mound and make sure a hemlock tree starts growing there. Henbane is too good for you, but I'll let a bit grow there for good measure. Because we want to dance. We want to sing. We want to throw this old man to the wolves. But they are too beautiful for him singing in harmony with each other. So some white wolves and I will sing on your grave, old man, and dance for the joy of your death. Is this an angry statement? No, it is a statement of joy. Will the sun shine again? Yes, 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 because I'm going to dance, 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 Duncan's measure and Pender's tune, Lorca's cadence and Creeley's hum, Stephen Sirens and William's Little Morris dance. Oh, the poets will call the tune and I will dance, dance, dance on your grave, 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 because you're a son of a bitch, a son of a bitch, and you tried to do me in, but you can't, can't, can't. You are a liar in a way that only I know. You ride a broken motorcycle. You speak a dead language. You are a bad plumber. And you write with an inkless pen. You were mean to me and I've survived. God damn you, at last I'm going to dance on your grave, old man. I'm going to learn every traditional dance, every measure, and dance, dance, dance on your grave one step for every time you've done me wrong.